Hi, my name is Janet Skinner. Sometimes in life we need a purpose to continue. And back in the early 1990s, I was looking for a reason to live, if you like. Um, just happened by accident one day that I saw that Bung Station, which is in Queensland, was going to be demolished and replaced. So I decided to paint it. And during the 1990s, I painted 104 railway scenes and that kept me going. As I sat on the platform and railway sidings, old people would come over and speak to me and tell me about life in the good old days. These were elderly people. It transpired that many of them were born in the early 1900s. I wrote down their names and phone numbers and I went back and interviewed them. There's a series of some 35 railway tapes that I'm making of the interviews that I recorded in New South Wales and Queensland. I'm not a journalist. I've got no background training in interviewing. And I really hope you enjoy these films. Um, I hope they bring laughter to many and insight into as what life used to be like. And please bear with me. I had fun doing them and I hope you have fun listening to them. Thank you so much. seen somebody this morning, what was his name? Eric Sibley. You know, mm -hmm. you know him too, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Um, I went to school with his two brothers. Did you go his, his, his two brothers have been in my class at school. Were they? Yeah. So were they, are they, were they his brothers older or younger than him? I uh, Older. Older. Yeah, Eric's the youngest. Yeah. He's the youngest in that family. Yeah. Can I ask what year you were born? 1906. 1906, Jimmy. And um, was she born? Where was she born? Uh, at Yambema, in Fairhill. Fairhill? Fair mm -hmm. Where's that? It's, it's outside Yambema. Yeah. Yambema was our station. Right. Yeah. Yambema was my school because the Fairhill school was up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Christmas, I, had, I was supposed to start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did your, did your parents, did they, were they born in Australia or were they? My mother was, she was born in Brisbane, but my dad was born in uh, Lincolnshire. Oh, Lincolnshire, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. okay. Um, so when did you move to this area? Uh, to Lindham, to, to this, this uh, part. I lived, at, I lived in a house just across the street from here. Across Sibley Road, 1950. 1950. I married in 1925. Yeah. Where did you live when you married? And I lived at Hammond. Hammond. Right. And is the house where you first lived when you got married at Hammond? Is that still? That's right. That's still standing today, is still it? Still standing. You can't see it, but it's there. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so. You tell me in your own words a little, little bit of things that you might like to tell me. Can you think of anything? Oh. Oh, well. Anyway, let's talk about um, your earliest memories of Hammond. Oh, yeah. And, and um, yeah. So you're right here at Hammond and you got married. To, no, I oh. went to Hammond School. Right. I went to him at school. Is it what age? About nine. Right. I went to him at school and I was at him for possibly two years before my father shifted to Wynnum and I went to Wynnum school. And well, then I would come back to Wynnum again in the same house. And uh, I went down from there, joined the Hammond. I used to go playing hockey and everything. Mm -hmm. Did you used to go to the Beach and everything at Wynnum, and that? Is that your local beach and 
the how did the ambulance used to operate in the train, did it? In the train. And the guards were on the train. Mm. And they used to have to put the, the, the beer into the, into the guards and take them in the first one that way. Did you ever travel on the ambulance on the train or not? Not in those, mm -hmm. not in those days, mm -hmm. no. I'd, I got on as a young, as a, well I was only 17, I said, and uh, I joined the Hammond Committee. The Hammond Women Ladies Committee, I joined that. And you can remember the first motorised ambulance? Yeah, well, that's, that's right. The first car was christened in Sand Green Star Theatre in Winnock. Mm. It was to have been christened in the grounds of the Star Theatre, but it rained pelted down to such an extent that they had to take it all inside. So they had to remove the car and everything into, into the building and have it christened in. Well, I took the photo. Uh, my brother had given me a box camera and uh, uh, I took the photo. It should be in the, in the ambulance museum down there now. Mm -hmm. Wonder what year that was, approximately. Uh, yeah, I was born 1906. That was 16. Mm -hmm. Around about 20, in the early 20s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet it's changed, it's bet it's changed a bit from nowadays. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. What did it look like? Can you remember what it looked like? It was just that like... was the first car. Mm -hmm. It was just an ordinary, just like an ordinary, what would you call it, uh, station wagon mm -hmm. that they have nowadays. Yes. And they just used to the uh, the the in the back part, see, over the back. So there wouldn't have been room for a standing person in the back as well, would there? Um, I, oh, um, I, think, I think there was room for somebody to sit there because I just had a sneaking idea that I came home one time with the ambulance. Um, when I was coming out of the general hospital after seeing my dad, I looked at the time and I thought to myself, this day, well, I don't think I'd catch that train. I wonder if I get a ride home. Anyway, who should I see um, with the ambulance but uh, Henry Wagner. He lived up in the hill here. Mm -hmm. And I knew Henry. And uh, I said to him, I said, is there any chance of getting a ride home, Henry? And he says, it could be, why? I said, well, so I don't think I'll get that train. I don't think I'll make it. He said, no, you won't either. And he, he said, just hang on a few minutes, and he said, I'll take you home when I, when I go. So he had to come past my house, he said, I need to go. So he brought me home. Oh, that was good. They were very really fortunate. But that's one day I remember. So I think there was there was room. Either I sat with him or I sat behind him. You know, I'm not quite sure about that. Going back to the trains again, did you used to catch the train into Brisbane City? Oh yeah. To, to for what reason? For shopping mostly. Mm. Shopping mostly. Has the yeah. quick, has has Brisbane City? I know it would have changed a lot. Oh yeah. In, in, can you remember Queen Street now as it used to be? Or? No, it wasn't Queen Street now. It was just plain Queen Street. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Can you remember the trams and things like that? Yes. Tell, yes. tell me what you, describe to me what you can remember. Little, little bits. Oh, well, the trams, they got to know your different trams and the different times that they used to come mm -hmm. uh, as you were shopping. They say, oh, I've got to be so and so. I think it's in the tram at half past one or half past two, whatever the might be. I'll get to the call for free tram, you see. And this is how you work it in your own mind. And you catch the train from Central Station, would you? No, catch it from South Brisbane. From South Brisbane? Yeah, catch it from South Brisbane. Right. See, that was before the. the 
Oh, I had several. <laughs> I got to have different people in the different shops. That you do that, you get to know people, and you get to know, and they get to know what you want. Mm. And they keep their eye open for these sort of things that you do want. Now, for instance, I used to uh, want um, get my boys trained. Pants, shorts, you know, ordinary school pants. And um, people, Chappy, if it was a lamb, and I got married to each other quite well. And he used to keep his eye open for these. And if he saw a particular pant, he knew I wanted it, he'd push it away and on the side and keep it until I came. Clothes must have been a bit more difficult to get nowadays. They wouldn't be like chain stores like there are now. Oh, yes. Were yeah. they? Mm, Were the clothes made oh, largely? Or? Children now, they're in the long slots, long of the looking things. They were really like tailored shorts in those days. Mm. And uh, I used to make all my own children's waistcoats, little the shirt waist we used to call them. They came in, not we wear them now, with a little band on them. You know, yes, yes. and uh, I used to make all those myself. And uh, so, going back to Queen Street, um, what was the biggest shop there? Can you remember? Oh, the biggest shop would be uh, at that when the first one would be. I'd say it'd be Alan and Starks. What was it called? Alan and Starks, Alan and Starks or mm -hmm. maybe Barry's. Barry's were a fairly big store on one on the right hand side and on the start on the left. And then there'd be Finney's. I'm not sure who was the biggest out of our own start from Finney's because they were both big, big stores, you know. And could you buy most things there? Oh, yeah, mm. yes. Every, everything except um, well, I'd say Barry's used to have the most variety because they used to even go into the, into the tools things like that. Into what? Tools. Tools, oh right. Did they have a upstairs? They have a dash or mm -hmm. sort of thing. There were like several that. floors high like they are now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, some of the old That's buildings right. still there. Yeah. Mm. Yes, Barry's were, were down below. They, down below there was a restaurant and uh, cakes and things like that. And then the next would be ordinary stuff and then probably the next one would be would be gardening stuff, you know. Mm. And shoes, were there shoe shops separate to the other shops? Uh, occasionally, some of them were separate, but mostly the big stores all carry shoes too. Mm. They had everything. Mm. Yeah, those big stores. Alan Stark, Barry's Finney's and even there was a lamb. They had everything to mm -hmm. except, uh, I'd say, except um, gardening and dancing. What year, are you, what year are you talking about now, do you think, when you're looking back and thinking, how old do you think you are? Ah, uh, well, it be all, all my years because I was shopping for my mm -hmm. so quite a time back, and yeah. before you were married? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, they did they have horse-drawn trains in Brisbane then, or had they...? No, no. not then. Mm. No, but they were... Uh, they weren't... Um, they were peculiar. They had... You had to, had to climb on, so the same as you had onto a train, sort of one or two steps. And then they used to have mostly a, a body middle by one body and two at the end and two at the end, you see. But the middle one would be a sort of a body with 
And there wouldn't have been much traffic in Queen Street, would there? I suppose it would have been building up oh, a little bit. It's building up all the time. Mm. Oh, yeah. But of course, it was mostly uh, horse drawn stuff. And mm. yes, and the, early, uh, the earlier cars, the old style Fords and such like, they used to go mm. up oh. and down. Were the horse drawn, were they just like big wagons, was it? People moving stuff, or were they travelling? Well, it was all from South East. Things like that. See, we had a psyche ourselves at them before I was married. Tell me about the psyche, Linda. Tell me about that. Well, my my brother had a had a pony, and he he'd come from the. Uh, I'm not sure where he had been. It would have been from the other end, or would have been from him, but where he was. But he had a farm, and when he came down, he brought his. Uh, his sulky and his, uh, his pony with him. And um, he used to get around and he used to take Mum and I for a spin around around Wynnum Lake. We went to Wynnum Lake around the beach mostly. On the Wednesday night he used to always go on Yakima Hill Sutton. And Mum and I would go for a spin. You used to enjoy that? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. because that was before Bitchman played. It was just um, only and the gravel roads at the time. But it was an hour before. Was it a bumpy ride? Is it a bumpy to ride in my No, way? not really. No. Not, not too bad at all. Because uh, we had rather tired side with cars. And that made it soft. People, you know, still, still tired if we didn't have it. And did it have any shape in the sun or you set it up? Did it have an overhead shade on it? No, uh, not for sulky. No. No, the south end. But the, uh, the earlier buggy did one of those had a shape. Right. Mm. Okay. Um, the bar, the buggy, that would have been when you did it, yeah, Jimmy, would it? Yes, mainly. Mm. Um, and uh, the, all the uh, transport those days used to be like a lot of German wagon too. Yes. 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 On the back of a German wagon, it would get a ride to school. What do you mean by German wagon? Tell me what you mean. What is a German wagon? Well, <laughs> it was uh, steel, steel, steel and wood wheels. The steel was around the outside, and it was wood and spokes, and uh, four, four, four. I think they were all the same size. I'm not sure. The front ones might have been a little bit smaller, and uh, they it was made just an ordinary thing, and two sides come up. You mm. see, mm. they used to take their pigs and all sorts of things with them. And did you used to just come a lift? Did you, or did you know the person? No, no. we used to we used to swing on the back. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and that was horse drawn, was it? Yeah, horse? yeah. Horse and drawn. Did the person out the front was getting yeah, a little? Oh, well, they knew. Oh, they knew. Yeah, 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 did, you wow. did your mum or your dad used to walk with you or just chill no, on your own? just kids used to go on her own. And we had the Marucci River to cross too, so if the Marucci River rose, we couldn't get it to go. Right. So he used to come up above the bridge, you know. So these German wagons, they weren't down at Linden now, they were at Linden? No, they, they were, were at Linden. At Linden. Right. Yeah. So when you was at Linden, how far were you from the school? When you lived oh, uh, I'm just over a mile. That was you living at Hemant when you went to the no, school? No, I was living at Linda. That's right. And, and I used to have to walk around the road. It was, it was over a mile because when the bikes, the bikes started racing, they used to race from the one corner up to a far shop with the school was another extra three or four hundred yards from the, the shop was. And of course, our end was a little bit longer too, so it would be more than a mile mm. to go up. You mentioned your, 
You mentioned your brother had come from England, did you? No, he, he had a he had a he had a banana farm. He was growing up. At Imbo. Mm, at Imbo. Yeah. Two brothers. Two brothers. So, yeah. so are your brothers younger than you or older than you? Uh, about uh, before you were born. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yes. So your uh, family used to. No, no, there. they were they were at, uh, they were in Imbo after after I I was sixteen when they were in Imbo. Because uh, I had my birthday there, 16th birthday there, yeah. when my niece was born, and I had I was up there looking out for the two boys. When no, that's my sister in law was in the yard, was in the hospital. Do you remember in Bull Station? I remember it, yes, but not distinctly. No, um, I've got, I've got a. Just rub it here somewhere. No, I can't remember it distinctly because I was only through it a couple of times. Yeah. You're going to start running some steam trays out in that way again soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Single station. Oh. Yeah. Good big place, isn't it? Yeah, so I printed that a few years ago now, 1993, I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Don't be able to keep them like that. So when you did, thank you, when you, when you did your local shopping, living when you were living at, say, Hemant, mm -hmm. where was your local shops? What, where would you go? Oh, uh, we had one shop at Hemant at the time, Marsha's shop, and they used to come around every week and take our order. Marsh's was that? Marsh. Right. Yeah. And uh, they used to come around, well, uh, Marsh had, uh, had uh, his son, Bullock, and another chap, Matt Hyde. And they used to, Matt was a local identity, and he and Bullock used to come around and take the orders, and the following day they would deliver it. Yeah. Deliver it all, see. So that's how we did most of our ordinary shopping. I mean, if we wanted to get anything special, but we could order through them. Right. You see. And what type, of, what type of thing would you class as special? Well, when I got my furniture, some of my furniture, uh, uh, they gave me a, gave me an order to go and get it on that, go and get it on that. Right. We would go to the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It was carrots at the time, oh. and they gave me all of the other carrots. Look at that. Book it up for them. Mm -hmm. And then I, I paid back for them. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that was the trust that we had between us. Mm -hmm. Everybody trusted everybody, and everybody came to it. And furniture was a, a lot of it was locally made, wasn't it? Well, it'd be Brisbane made. Mm. It wasn't in Brisbane. Mm. What about ladies' dresses and things? They, they would have been mainly all Brisbane made, wouldn't they? Mm. I suppose they were a little bit made. Yeah. Same with the Brisbane yeah. type. Yes. Although well, we get a lot of stuff now from overseas or. Oh, yeah. You know. But I don't know whether they do those days. No. I don't think they do. No. I didn't think they were. Do you think your Do you think your diet has altered much from when you were say twenty to what you are now? The food well, that's available. It is now, but it wasn't when I was home. No. Because my husband, my husband was the same as my family. We grew a lot of our own stuff. Did you Did you have acreage? Yes. Um, which Which property was that? Hemant or Lyndon? Hemant. And Lyndon. And Lyndon. Yeah. Mm. See, we had our own cow, we had our own farm, we had our own mm. different things. I get a bit confused with Hemant and Lyndon because they're so near. So, what year, by what year was you at Hemant? I, I married and went to Hemant at 25. That's right. 25. Yeah. And um, you was at uh, Gandina before that, was you, or Lyndon before that? Lyndon before, before that. that. Yeah, then I'd be going out. Right. And then back to Lyndon again after Hemant again? Or not? Uh, yes. 
Right. I came back from home and down to England. My so I that, over here. Right, different property that. Mm -hmm. Okay. The very first property you had at Linden. Yeah. Um, what, where was that? What road was that on? That was on Linden Road. On Linden Road? Mm -hmm. okay. It's no longer there now. It's been pulled down because they've got flat now. And what, it, what's put factories on it. Are the factories on it now? Or no. Well? As far as I know, there's none there yet. There's none there. Mm. It's just been filled in and about so high mm. and mm. it's left there. And uh, you used to have cows on that property, did you? Mm. Yeah, we always had our own cow too. Mm. Mm. Right. And then when you moved to Hemi, then? I mm. had a cow. Mm. Yeah. No, I didn't did have a cow. Say? Yes, I did have a cow anyway, because for four and a half acres. Mm. Did you grow your own veggies and things yeah. like that? Yeah. Mm. That's what I mean. They had it all together different because we grew our own around stuff. Yes. And straight from the farm. So you would have spent quite a bit of time yourself in the garden. Did you enjoy that? Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It was well of my charity work. I don't know how I ever did. I often wonder how in the world I ever did it because I used to walk the roads for the winter ambulance. Did you? What, collecting mm -hmm. donations? And collecting. Now, yeah. uh, we had a, had a card with a different night names on it, and a different people, and we'd go out and mark them down on the, each month how much they gave, how mm -hmm. so much a month and how so much a quarter, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it was difficult. Mm -hmm. It was difficult to do. Mm -hmm. It was a heck of a lot of shoes over years. Mm -hmm. And the ambulance service was totally voluntary then, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Did you train to do first aid and things like that? I did that during the war. Did you? Yeah. How, did the, how did the war years affect you living in the city? Did it affect making a difference to you? Oh, I made two of the four fours. I was in the campus one. I made two of the about 16 pairs of socks at Snyder School. Tell me about that. Tell me, tell start again, for what fund was it? The Comfort Comforts? No, it was the Red Cross. The Red Cross at that time, that was the first World War. And you had to knit the socks, did you? I knitted the socks, 16 pairs. And while you was at school, in yeah. the school, or when you got in home? School. In school. In school. And when I went home, then we, and when we finished our lesson, we finished our lesson, then we had our wool and uh, red and hard underneath it the desk and we were our, they gave us permission to take it out and we were finished our lesson if our lessons were finished take your wool out and knit away right. did you like doing the knitting? did you like oh, the knitting? I loved it did you? I made it a lot of pressure in too what did you crochet? <laughs> for yourself or for <laughs> I've got some, quite a few things in there have you? What, like table things and stuff yeah. oh, that was it what else did you make for it to do with the war effort? Did you anything else you had to make other than socks? Oh, I mean, well, it was mostly socks. It was mostly socks that they wanted. That was in the first one. And world they war. used to send us the uh, party war to do it with. So. Mm -hmm. And in the Second World War, did you do anything? Mm -hmm. I was in the Comfort Fund there and I did the same thing. The Comfort Fund, yeah. so I haven't heard of that. That's similar to Red Cross, is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. it, but they used to have their meetings in the London, in the London Baptist Church at that time. Mm -hmm. And I used to come down from home and down to London. And you made socks? Did and you make socks? Yeah, yeah. Too, socks, yeah. And, socks and, uh, and these uh, Bella Flower caps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they dark grey too, they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gee, so did everybody in the community help to do that? Oh, I to do. And then during the Second World War, I went into the uh, Went into St John's Ambulance too, that was run at the Church. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to go up there every week, every Thursday, and bandage and do all sorts of things up there, doctors and you know. Did you see any of the salt? Were there any soldiers over this side of the town, or you know, camps or anything like that? No, no, mm -hmm. not that I know of. No, because in a lot of other areas there's a lot of treatment. It was mostly, it was mostly in, the, in the town, out of the neighbor, and mm -hmm. the bush parts. Mm -hmm. And um, where did you meet your husband, can I ask you? <laughs> I can't remember that. I met him, I met him uh, through dancing at Hammond. Oh, did they have a weekly dance? Did they? Oh, we were always dancing. 
Mm-hmm. We were always friends. And uh, we all came, we came in the middle of the, there was a men's hockey club and there was a ladies' hockey club. Yeah. You didn't watch television in those days? Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no. No, it wasn't even there. No, no, no. It wasn't even there. No. But oh, we had a good time, just the same, you know. You make your own, yeah, you make your own entertainment. Yes, yeah. go to each other and go to different homes. Well, in the home, there was being being uh, considered and, and built. They had uh, a committee there, and the different ladies on the committee got their heads together and they were held an evening at this men's place. You'd go there, pay two bob to go in and just have a lot of good time, you know. Mm-hmm. Do whatever you like, dance on the, on the, on the grass or anywhere. <laughs> Can you remember your first time going to the cinema? Oh boy. I don't remember that. Our first one, that was the other star pictures where we used to go to the pictures down there. The star pictures? Star pictures. Where, what town was that? Yeah, that was Winner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Winner. Yes, the star pictures was in Florence Street. And, um, What's there now where the pictures used to be? What were oh, Coles. Coles. Coles were there. There's no pictures in there now. Yeah. And then that was, um, the one down on the beach was, uh, beach front was, uh, the Imperial, there was an Imperial there too. And uh, well, we couldn't go down there much because it wasn't handy to the train. So we then used to go to the star because it was handy to the train. Did they used to play music or an organ or anything at the star? Can you remember? We probably did, no. I yeah. can't remember. Eric either. was talking about a Wurlitzer. Do you remember that? Or no? Oh, yeah, that was, a, that was a Brisbane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I couldn't really to, understand. Was the world at the mother, cinema or the, or the... Mother and I used to go in every Wednesday to town and we'd go to the Regent at 12 o'clock on a Wednesday and we'd sit there and listen to Chapman and the world that's a there. Mm-hmm. And then they'd have community singing. Mm-hmm. So we used to sit there and sing our hearts out until the half past two and then we'd go to catch the train. Come home the period. <laughs> so, so it was a Wednesday date. <laughs> so maybe lots of different people from the community would just go there and seem for pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. This is the fun sort of this was a fun. And only one or two and only one or two songs. Would you have any ideas now? I can't oh. remember. Oh any titles or any line of anything? Oh, I suppose that Daisy, Daisy would be one of them. Yeah. And, uh, were they a lot of English Cockney songs, were they? Do you think? I think a lot of people would have come from England, wouldn't they? Yes, probably. They were probably uh, mostly Cockney stuff, you know. Mm. I can't remember that far back, but those sort of song, songs would be one. The ones I still sing nowadays. We still have them, aren't yeah, Yes, we do. Um, going back to the Lindum Hemmen area, was the community um, basically of English nationality or European? Yeah, well, out this way, we're German. Which way is that? Along Kyanawara Road. Kyanawara Road? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Along here, there. We used to call that chum, and that, that chummy down. No, the, the other, uh, towards the Hamlet Cemetery, was chummy down. Chummy down? Chummy town. Chummy town? Yeah, mm-hmm. and this part is the German. Mm-hmm. You see, so they were sort of separate. Mm-hmm. All the rest were English. Mm-hmm. But those particular areas. Somebody was telling me there was a lot of Chinese people living there. Oops. Um, there was a Chinese family over here, one of them was out near over near that. Something to do with the grapes. Were there any Chinese people or not? No, no, no. Well, everybody had grapes. Mm-hmm. Everybody had grapes. All of the bunker family had the mm-hmm. grapes. Mm-hmm. Every farmer had grapes. Did they? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And what did they make wine for themselves, eat them? No, they mm-hmm. used to eat them. So mm-hmm. they can go and buy the back of food, back of food for a couple of shillings or something. Mm-hmm. And yeah, my husband used to grow grapes. His family did when he was little. Oh, right. yeah, a little place called Wool and Garrett. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, there were a lot of grapes. 
Did you have a local bus service in the Lindon area? That you Not until oh, uh, I suppose the first one would be I got some empathy. That would be after I was married. And I had the children because I used to take them down to the shop and leave the pram there and get on the bus from there and get it. Is that like a motor vehicle? Would that would be, you know, that would be like an ordinary bus that we've got here. Right, yes, no, That's the type of, the type of thing it would be, that would be Argus. Mm. And uh, then the black and white came in, and I think they used to do this in. But uh, Argus used to do this one. Mm. Did, um, did the sea feature in your family at all? Were you both boat lovers, or did anybody have a boat? Um, yes, we all loved that. See, when we were up in Marucci, when we were up at Yandana, we used to go to Marucci door every Christmas. Mm. Every Christmas when we were in And of course, all our stuff, our tent would fly and everything had to be taken down by boat. So the boys would put the boat in the water up on the upper, upper beaches. And then we'd come down and, uh, to Yandana. They put the boat on the German wagon come down as far as the white wharf down the coast there, put the boat in there, load it up and it was down on the tide. Right. And so did you bring it down to... Um, the boat, you know. Did you bring the boat with you when you came down to uh, Henning, Linden? Did you no. Bring, no. No. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a boat for quite, quite a few years because that was the time of the first world war. And my dad was down down at Blitton, uh, he was working, he got a job, and the first one down in 1915, he got a job down at Blitton in the hospital there, because the boats used to come in with people with the Spanish flu, it was raging at that time, and they'd bring them in, and their job was to unload down there, and put them into the Blitton hospital treat them there or bury them or whatever Didn't your dad worry about getting the flu himself? Well, they don't have, somebody has to do it. Mm. And uh, he did it anyway. And we got the flu, we got the flu in our house and he had to, he had to get leave to come home with nurses because it went right through our house. Apparently mm. he brought it home, I think. Mm. But uh, he came home from probably a month or six weeks and had an nurses through that, through that Spanish group. Luckily none of us died, but uh, it was very sick. Mm. It must have been a pretty strong rock. And it was a bit rough. Mm. And it was last rock last year, it was pretty bad too. I got it here. I had it here for a while. Well, I've still got a bit of it, I can't believe me. Mm. There's still a, there's still a phlegm there on my, on my chest. And gives me problems.